Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we have the Tazerax versus the XXR. Uh, I decided these two vehicles because they kind of remember me of back in the day when the game came out. We had the Entity XF versus the Adder. They were like the two main cars back in the day. I know the Entity XXR is around two years old now and the Tazerax is only about, it's coming up to about a year old so and how the game works, older car is the slowest going to be basically because they don't really balance it that much out in a way compared to other games so let's get straight into the test so here is the Entity XXR this is um yeah I, I really like the look of it but I think the performance has always been underwhelming even when this car came out I think it wasn't really that good of a car and here comes around the first corner I think though this car has really never been that good because I remember when it came out it kind of wasn't really that like no it wasn't really like nobody wanted to buy it for racing it was just for luck so because it was a new car nobody really bought it for racing because it wasn't even there was so many better cars at the time like I think the Vag was a Vag now to that time but I think it was I think that was better than it there was so many cars that were better than it of course I think it was maybe when I came out in the top five but it wasn't like anywhere near like the best cars those cars were way better than it this car also has a thing where when you slow down and then you put the accelerator back on uh, if you go really if you like have to brake fully to go on the corner the back will slide if you fully put the, pa the accelerator on so you have to kind of uh, throttle the controller there and I find also the vehicle it, it corns very well but then it feels like it's kind of slow and that's why my corn very well and let's see what time it did in it did it in a 55.7 what I think is the slowest we've done so far I think it is even like the two sports cars we did the prior versus the VTO were faster than this so let's go on to the Ferrax so this is the Ferrax uh, of course I would admit that since the other came out we've had the Venaro so technically this is like a second installment so it's all really uh, like uh, you could say like the Entity XF and the Entity XXR where it's like the next gen version. Uh, but maybe now would have been better to do but I've already done that uh, test for now in a different series. Of course it was on a different track but you kind of get the point of it. So yeah this car uh, to be honest it has a good top speed but it does handle pretty well. It's not that bad with like oversty and stuff. Well, uh, I do like about it. it's like you have good uh, top speed with not too much oversteer it's very nice with and some of the cars you get like for devastate just I just don't like in the way of how much oversteer you get it's super fast on a straight line but then when you come to a corner the amount of oversteer you get is not a nice thing to have you literally have to slow down so much if it didn't have that it, it would be the fastest car in the game if it had uh, None of that oversteer. It would be very good. So what did it do in? It did it in a 54.9. Well, I would admit, I think the, the uh, Emirates was the fastest car was going around. It did it in like a 52.7 or something, or 52.5. Uh, I'm not fully sure. I haven't checked that in a bit. So let's pop up the scoreboard. Okay, so here are the times. Uh, the tracks in 54.920 and the... XTXXR did it in 55.791 well I will admit both of them I think the Frax is a lot better in uh, if you do like a lot more of a, a top speed track the Frax can be very good because I would admit my track I feel like is very good for cars who are good at cornering because of most of the cars who are at the top of the leaderboard I mean they're like cornering cars because of uh, they just seem to be like because I think there's a lot more corners and some of the bits where you can f like that bit where you go you have to do like a sh you basically do a curvy right and you do a curvy left if you can just take all your speed around it because of the cornering it can be so good for the car of course both of these cars I think the entity XXR you don't buy if you uh, want to race with it because you're not going to win the Frax if it's like a straight line race but then you have the same time you could get just the other cars there's other ones will be better so neither of them are really I would say on top of the game anymore both of them I think were good cars well, we're a bit more upgraded compared to the old versions, so yeah. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more, please put down below what cards you'd like me to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video.